Our verse today is 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 13. Though formerly I was a blasphemer, persecutor, and an insolent opponent, but I received mercy because I had acted ignorantly in unbelief. Paul wrote this letter from Rome about AD 63 to Timothy, his travel companion. Read Acts chapter 16, verse 3. After the salutation, Paul warns Timothy against false teachers. Then Paul turns to himself. I thank him who has given me strength, Christ Jesus our Lord, because he judged me faithful, appointing me to this service. We see that in verse 12. Our verse continues this attitude of thanksgiving. Though formerly I was a blasphemer, persecutor, and an insolent opponent, but I have received mercy because I had acted ignorantly in unbelief. The first thing we notice is that Paul is sincere about his past. He admits who he was, a blasphemer. The Greek word blasphemia means harmful, abusive speech against someone's reputation, slander, reviling, evil speaking. When applied to God, it refers to a speech against the nature and power of God which is tantamount to an insult against God. Blasphemy was a grave offense in the Old Testament. We read in Leviticus, Whoever blasphemes the name of the Lord shall surely be put to death. All the congregation shall stone him. Leviticus 24 verse 16. Paul himself had thought that the Christians were blaspheming by preaching in the name of Jesus. But after his conversion, he realized that he was the one blaspheming by defiling the name of Jesus, who is God. Read Acts chapter 26 verse 9. Paul also admitted that he was a persecutor. He went from church to church, arresting and putting Christians in prison. Acts chapter 8 verse 3. He was also involved, at least, approving the killing of Stephen. Acts chapter 8 verse 1. He was violent towards the faith and those who practiced the faith. Despite all this, what is striking is that Paul admits that he had acted in ignorance, in unbelief, at that time, like the other Jews. Read Acts chapter 3 verse 17. He acted in unbelief in Christ because he believed in God and he knew the law. The experience of Paul teaches us to forgive ourselves and move on from the past. Some of us remain perpetually in our past, in our sins, in our past weaknesses, and keep referring to them. And some think that God has not forgiven them even after they had confessed their sins. The mercy of God cleanses us of the past and strengthens us to move on in the faith. Let us not lose heart. Let us always turn to the Lord. Lord, No matter our past, we know you do not condemn us or reject us. Please help us to accept ourselves in the present. Amen. God bless you and I wish you a wonderful day.